I'm basically speechless. Hey guys, uh, Randy here and welcome aboard the CB Traveler Channel. Well, I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, today I thought we would uh, go check out the uh, San Jose Xavier Mission, Del Bac. And uh, yeah, I've been down here a couple times, but each time I've been down here, it's still been uh, covered with scaffolding. So I have heard that the scaffolding is off now and I want it, hold on. <laughs> I think I just missed, uh, I saw an abandoned building. Let me get turned around. I gotta get turned around and see if we can check that thing out. I'm not sure if this is still on the reservation or not, but I love old abandoned buildings. And this one got my attention. It's really muddy right now, that's too bad. I don't know how old this is never been here smells like uh, cow manure though this brick has some adobe in it so it's pretty old old with some new mixed in wow look at this oh you can go in I don't know if I want to Yeah, you can see in there where they dug out in the wall for some uh, conduit of some sort, but it's mixed in. It's, the plaster is covered, covering some adobe up there. Try and get to the old part. That's what I like. Hmm. See a little bit of a concrete foundation around it. We're going to get, oh cool, we're going to get over here to the Adobe port. You can see one whole side is just collapsed and gone. But over here, we still have some standing adobe. And it's on a rock foundation. You can see down here. And when they built the brick part over there, it uh, they poured some concrete around it. Wow, this is neat. I love finding this old stuff like this. You never know how much longer things like this have. You can see there where the rain is coming down and starting to erode away on the outside. I see an address here too. Duck under this tree. 1677. Oh yeah, this thing doesn't have a whole lot longer left. This is basically the only wall standing. And the only thing holding it up is the, the old roof trusses. You can see it's starting to crumble down here. Yeah, well, I'm glad I was able to stop by here and get this because another year or two, this might be gone. Neat. I'm not gonna go inside because it's probably dangerous. But yeah, how neat is that? You can even see on the inside the, the plaster is starting to melt away, give way. Ah, it's a neat little uh, side track, I think. All right, we'll head back to the truck. And you can see, I mean, it's not too far away from the road here. It's just right off the side of the road. And I'll see if I can point it out. Like I was saying before, the, uh, the mission, it stands out like a beacon. You can see it eh, just right in there in between those, in be by that tree. The arch of that branch, you can see it down there. 
Look at that. Stands out like a beacon. All right, we're back on the road. But yeah, this mission was, I mean, it's, it's been around a long time. Uh, the original building was in like the late 1600s and in the late 1700s, uh, it was built in the location it is now. And uh, yeah, when it was built, Arizona was still part of New Spain. That's, that's how far back we're talking. But uh, there's, there, we're about nine miles south of uh, downtown Tucson, so it's not too far of a drive. And well, you can see it, you can see it up there. It's, it's nice to see this without the scaffolding. I've been waiting for a long time. Another neat thing about this is that it's the oldest European uh, structure in Arizona. And I'm really excited to, to get inside because there's some original artwork and some uh, just decorations that I wanted to really check out. But yeah, I can see, <laughs> I can see, I don't think those are stray. I think they're just uh, people's pets that just roam around the town out here. <laughs> but yeah, let me uh, get, just get right up here and we'll park. And then uh, I re I'm really excited about checking this one out. How beautiful that is. All right, let me get parked. Oh, this is neat. Check this out. I've been here before, um, probably for like a year and a half or two, I've been trying to come down here. But this is the first time I've seen it without construction. They have uh, scaffolding all over. And usually when I come, it's early in the morning because I'm down here for meetings or something and I try and sneak over here to see if it's done. But I like this courtyard with these timbers. It gets you like an authentic feel of way back when this thing was built. And also, you can go up that hill right there at the cross on it. We'll take a walk up there too. First though, I want to come over here and Check this place out. Stands out, when you're driving down the freeway, you can see this on uh, Interstate 19. You can see it sticks out like, uh, like a emerald or something in the water. For miles around, you can see this. Look how beautiful, beautiful this is. I've never been able to go inside. I'm kind of interested to see if I can do that. But it might be a tour. I don't know if there's an admission price. I'll find that out. I see you. no food or drinks. No photos during mass. Turn cell phones off. Let's come over here and we'll see this plaque. Uh, 1935, the site possesses exceptional value. So it's a historical landmark, 1963. Oh, sorry. <laughs> when you get up close, you can see the wear and tear. It's been weathered, but they still hold mass in here. But it says no photos during mass. I'm gonna have to see if there's mass going on. I'm not sure when that is. But just look at the detail. Wow. It's a big old beacon in the desert. It was, uh, it was, Founded in 1692 as a as a uh, Catholic mission by Father Asuibo Kino, and uh, began construction in 1783. Completed in 1797. Wow. 
It, it retains its original purpose of ministering to the religious needs of its parishioners. Now this is, uh, this is on uh, the Tana Odom Reservation. So just remember to respect their rules if you, when you come out here. But I checked, it doesn't look like mass is going on right now. So I'm gonna look inside, see how dark it is. Goodness, this is beautiful. Uh, again, I wore my sunglasses in here. This is utterly amazing. I've never been in here before. Just look at this detail in here. Wow. Now there's something over there in the casket. I don't know if I want to go over there or not. Let's see if I can point you up. Look at that. This is amazing, amazing, amazing. And there's some stairs coming up here. Can't go up there, but it's coming up here. I'm not Catholic, so I don't know what this is. So if you could please let me know. I'm very interested to find out. I'm gonna come over here. Excuse me. Um, you can put, there's no, there's no, of course, there's no fee to get in here, but uh, donations are accepted. Yeah, and this doesn't feel right to film this. Doesn't feel right. Uh, I don't know. If this is just so beautiful. I don't know what to say. I really, really don't. Look at that old woodwork right there. I'm basically speechless. How beautiful this is. And you can go up there. We'll go outside here. Ooh, they use, uh, I saw a sign in there saying they used um, smokeless candles to protect the artwork inside. Some restrooms, what do we got back here? It's blocked off, gated up, fenced off, but there's just some bathrooms. Kind of wanted to see a courtyard back here. All right, well, let's work our way back around. I wanted to point this out. See that, the scupper, there's no scupper, but it comes off the roof and it just drains down this until it comes down here. I mean, that is a standard of all these. Uh, I'm gonna have to remember that design if I ever 
want something you don't have that is such a cool design and I know out here they probably use that or use that water in some sort of cistern if I had to guess it's beautiful Little desert garden area where all the burrow cactus are starting to starting to get to bloom. Yeah, I'm not gonna go in there, I'm gonna stay quiet out here. Wow, this is even out here. It's like amazing, amazing place. I like this tree. I don't know how old that thing is. That thing looks cool as heck. <laughs> I like dead trees like that up in the point up in the sky. All right, let's see what's over on this side. I feel like I have to talk real quiet because it's still an active church. And here's more of their water drainage. But I would, have, I would imagine back in the day they would have tried to keep as much water as they could. I don't know how big of a well they had out here. Water fountain, it's peaceful. And there's lots of Lots of candles. Can't go too far over there, but they're smokeless candles, but they are, I can smell them. How oh, neat. Wow. Go back up outside. <laughs> One minute. Let's see what's over here. And we're going to walk up that hill, might as well. It's under video surveillance, night and day. All right, so this is. Grotto Hill, and they get the name. It's just a there's a shrine up here that's a, embedded in the grotto, a rock a hole up here in the rocks, the grotto. Ah, these cool statues. Check this out. Lions at the gate. Oh, oh, hey, this is pretty. I like this. It's not kept up too well, but this cool design inside these walls. Huh. Ah, here we go. Please respect the sacred place. Erected by Bishop Tyson, 1908. Fiftieth anniversary. Let's see if I can get you up here. Show you what it is. Little shrine. Oh hey, uh, while we have a second, I'd like to ask if you like this kind of content, uh, just to reach down and click that like button, and uh, subscribe if you haven't. It really does help the channel grow, and I appreciate it very much. Well, that's going to do it from the San Xavier Mission in South Tucson. And I got to say, this is an amazing place to come see. Well worth the time. Just tour around. It doesn't cost anything. Um, leave a donation if you want. But uh, I think that's going to do it. And I'm going to sign off. And just remember, never say goodbye. Always see you later.